Hey, this week we're going to do a review about our RV generator, and you really don't want to miss it, so stay tuned. Oh, life could be a dream if I could take... What we have here is a Champion Global Power Equipment Dual Fuel uh, Generator. It runs off both propane and gas. It's uh, for if you ever dry camping, so you got yourself way to get your power going I have both I have a gas I have propane and I do have some gas in case I decide to use that the dry camp it comes with battery it's good for a it'll it'll take you if you got a uh, 50 amp you're gonna have to get yourself an adapter to step down to a 30 amp and that way you can also that way you can at least release run one AC gen, uh, AC while you're going on and have your power and you can run it as long as you want or as slow as you want so okay it, it runs we had our running it ran a good i'd say five hours with the uh propane tank that i have but if you have a bigger tank it's going to run longer if you have a small tank it's going to run less and this is the five gallon propane tank that i have have i think it ran for about uh four hours during the night that we had it continuously running uh, like anything if you have a bigger propane tank it's going to run longer uh, if you have a, a way to supply gas throughout the night it'll run just as long as you put gas into it they recommend two men to two people to pick this up two person pick up you can lift it up by yourself it is heavy it's about a good about 100 pounds but it's 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 not bad to lift down and lift up but recommend that you use two people i, I have it i have it locked down as you see um it's locked here so i don't have to worry about anybody stealing it while i'm i'm parked someplace uh, if i'm not using it or if i have to if i'm dry camping and i'm someplace where i can lock it to something i'm gonna lock that too so it doesn't go any place okay i got i got the cover for it this is the one that they recommended for this size of a a generator of course the bigger generator you got the bigger cover you got whatever uh, the reason why I've got it is uh, I'd like to keep this for a while so I don't want to have it all rusty and nasty now you don't want to run the generator with the cover on but it's sure good to keep it dry when it's sitting out and you're not using it so I got this I can cover up uh, I can cover up my uh, my generator and the propane at the same time and then you know I'm always worried me as you can see I got a big gate here this tends to slide back and forth I worry about this blowing off so all I did was I took a, a ratchet strap when I get done I, I covered up and then I just secure around it with a ratchet strap so my bottle doesn't go any place and my generator doesn't slide back and forth and just an extra sense of security for me we will have all these uh, listed in the Amazon link below so just go ahead and click on it and it'll tell you exactly where to go and how to get it. It does not cost you anything to use this link. We do, if you use our link, we do make a little bit of a profit off of it, but that's about it. But uh, I'm not gonna steer you wrong. We've used the generator. I like the generator. It's a really good product along with this. I mean, this thing has been through some torrential downpours right now. The generator is still dry and it's still looking good. So. Hey, use that link down below for any of the products that we have, and you'll be able to get them right there. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like when I get done, and I have it all tied up. I got it nice and secure, not going to wiggle, not going to go anyplace, and again, it's still locked. 